we can get on our day. Um, you don't need anything right now. Just take a big breath and bring your arms all the way up. Stretch overhead. L E T, what's your friend's name again? I'm sorry. Andrea, hi Andrea. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, lean a little bit side to side. We're just gonna do, listen, I've done nothing for two weeks either, so we're gonna just take ourselves into some nice uh, whatever here. I'm um, just trying to get my watch set. My watch hasn't seen this workout for a while. All right, now hold it up and over to the right side. Just bend your arms over to, or bend your, lean your torso over. Come back to center, do the other side. Come back to center, open up your arms, take them behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles down, fold forward, hang your head down. Good, just bend one knee, then the other, rocking out side to side. It's also something you'll never see me in his shorts, but I figured I'm not going into a studio today, so I would wear them, it's so hot. Come on back down to center, hands to the floor. Lengthen your spine, turn your toes slightly out. Take your arms on the inside of your thighs and drop your hips down, look forward. Keep your arms on the inside, keep your weight back into your heels and then stretch your legs straight up, head down. Look forward, bend the knees, look forward, chest back, uh, chest out, hips back. And then straighten the legs. Oh, I'm gonna change my camera position so I can see you guys bigger. I didn't put it into full view. Do that a couple more times. So squat down, stretch, good. And then straighten your legs. And then this last one, let's squat down. Straighten your legs one more time. Fold over, walk your hands to your right leg. Take your right arm up in the air, twist. Uh, breathe in and out. Hug your right hip to the midline. Walk through the center to the other side. Hug your left hip to the midline, left arm up, twist. And then exhale, fold forward. Grab your elbows and sway. Come back to the center. Put your hands on your thighs. Lengthen your spine. Walk your feet underneath your hips. And do some cat cows here. Round and curl. Arch your back. Exhale, round and curl. Good. Inhale. Extend your spine. Round your spine. Roll all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Take your arms out to the side. So if you don't have a weight and you want to use... Um, you said you had some water bottles. You can hold a water bottle. Otherwise, take a weight underneath your chin. I'm gonna start out a little bit lighter since it's been a couple weeks for me to do anything. Um, not quite a plie stance, but a little bit wider than your hips, toes turned out. And we're just gonna squat our hips back. So you, of course, can do this body weight. Nothing wrong with that. All right, we're just gonna do 10 of these in three, two, and one. Squat down for 10, nine. Weight drives into the heels. Three, four, five, six. Keep your weight back into your heels. Good, good, Andrea. Seven, three more. Like you're gonna sit into a chair, nine. One more, and 10. Take the same weight, bring it to your right shoulder. Left arm is free, press up overhead for 10. Right shoulder. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, if it's heavy, two, just use your knees, bend your knees to drive through your hips a little bit more. Keep the same weight over your right shoulder. Hold on to the either side. If you're not using a weight, that's okay, just use body weight. In three, two, cross the body chop. 10, nine, eight. So anything, you know, body weight is fine with all this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Take your weight underneath your chin. No weight if you're using it. Take your feet a little bit wider than hips. Toes slightly turned out. Back to 10 squats in three, two, and one. 10. Nine, drive through the heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Really feel the work in the heels, pressing through the glutes. Three, two more. One more time, stand up. Put the weight in your left hand, weight at your shoulder, rack it up. 10 overhead presses in three, two, go. 10, 
nine, eight, seven. Yeah, you can pivot on that if you want. Six, five, four, three, one more. Good, now hold the weight over your left shoulder or your hands over your left shoulder. Cross body chop in three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good, if you're using weights, two weights, you could um, just go ahead and just press your arms up with a little tension in your arms if you're not using the weight. Otherwise, take your shoulder, your hands to your shoulders, actually turn the palms face in, and we're gonna rotate the arms up overhead in three, both arms together, two, 10 of these. 10, nine, eight. Just press like you're doing a handstand, guys, without a weight. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, good. Now, take your mat to the floor, grab some heavy weights if you're using them, grab your band. Um, I'm sorry, your, um, you can use your band. Grab your um, towel. All right, so I'm gonna come down to the floor. Same weights. A band if you'd like to put it above your knees. If you're not, um, you're just gonna take a towel above your, with your arms, okay? But uh, we're gonna take our weights in our arms overhead, or weights or towel. Tilt your pelvis, lift your hips up, keep your arms up overhead. If you have the towel, imagine that you're pulling it apart, right? So you're just gonna create tension. Right now our arms are only gonna stay in the air. So the hips are up in the air, belly is in, knees in line with hips in line with second, third toe. We're gonna lower the hips, but keep the arms up. Three, two, one. Go down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So you know this is body weight here. Five, it's like a squat on your back, three, Two, hold up the last one here, one. Hold the, the hips up, take both arms down to your chest and three, use the band or the strap to one or the towel. 10, nine, now keep pressing through your feet and your shoulders, three, so that your back doesn't collapse, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. One more, good, bring your arms down, bring your hips down. Keep one weight or just your band or your towel. I keep saying band, but towel is fine. Take the weight or the towel over the right, arm, right shoulder. Cross body crunch over to the left hip. Again, no body, body weight is perfectly fine in this exercise. All right, right to left in three, two, here we go. Cross body, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good, same thing on the other side, left to right. In three, two, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, one more. Good, all right. So back to the arms overhead, hold on to your towel, create tension by pulling the towel apart from the inside, right, or from the outside. Just keep a little dynamic tension, a little isometric contraction. Arms up in the air, whether it's weights or, <coughs> excuse me, band or towel. Tilt your pelvis. Lift your hips up. Good, so every time you lift your hips up, they're this height. In three, two, arms stay, leg, the hips go down. 10, nine, squeeze through the back of your body. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, last one we're gonna hold up, nine, hold up for 10, keep your hips up, bend your arms in three, two, go down, 10, keep your hips nice and high, nine, so just bring the towel down to your chest, three, four, Five, keep pushing through your shoulders and heels. Six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Bring your arms in and down, hips down. Weight or just your arms across the right side of your body. To the left in three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good. All right, everybody. Put your um, weight down, come to your forearms. Elbows under shoulders, palms down. Step back with one leg, then the other. Hold your plank in your forearms. Ready, go. Pull your belly up and in, knees lifted. Push down through your arms. Don't dump into your neck and shoulders. Breathe in. You can stay here or roll on your toes, forward and back, gliding through the shoulders and the legs. 10 more seconds. I don't know if it's because I've been away for so long, but boy, this 30 seconds feels like a long time. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Arms down, just stretch out in a little cobra stretch. All right, push back to your heels. Come back to standing, please. I'm just gonna move the mat off to the side a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and take, again, one single weight. Go to a heavier weight if that's possible for you. If you don't have a weight, you're gonna use dynamic tension. You can, um, so what we're gonna do is with the right arm, we're gonna reach forward, hinge. So the left knee is gonna be bent, the right leg is gonna be straight. We're gonna hinge out of the hips, come back and row. So if you can get your towel underneath your foot and pull against it, you won't get as much range of motion as we will with the, without it, but you can use that for your back uh, tension if you'd like it. Otherwise, left leg is forward for everybody. Right hand holds the weight of the towel. Turn your hips and shoulders square. <laughs> what is that, a, a hose? <laughs> perfect, a watering, perfect. All right, there you go. Three, two, one. This is, you know, this is what we call getting creative. Two. We learned that early on in the pandemic that we can find typical garden tools, household tools, books with backpacks, rocks and stones in our backpacks, water bottles if you had them, seven, eight, two more, one more. Good, switch legs, switch arms, switch legs, switch gardening equipment. Three, two, go. Hinge forward, so the right leg stays bent. The left knee, uh, the left leg is straight, but not locked. Three, so I'm not changing the position of my front leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. And 10, good, take that one single weight. Take it, open your chest. Be careful with that ET, because it might hit your head. <laughs> but we're gonna make a circle over the head and cross body chop and then repeat it, reversing it onto the other side. So just watch, watch yourself in three, two, and one, good. Overhead chop, one, take the other side, two, three, Four. You can add a pivot if you like. Five, 
It's up to you. Six, seven, they're both good, they're both right. Eight, nine, last one, 10. Good. Now, if you're using weights, two weights, so two heavy weights, if you're not using weights, grab your uh, towel and you're gonna just pull your towel. Yes, and. Rocks, that's what I... <laughs> you know, if you have baggies, you know, you can put rocks in them, it's great. So if you're using a towel, <laughs> we get creative, guys. If you're using a towel, you're gonna pull your elbows back and squeeze the towel, or pull the towel apart, squeeze your shoulders together. All right, we're gonna use this with two weights for bent over rows in three, two, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the elbows behind you, six, so your back doesn't change. Five, four, the back stays in one position, three, two, and one. Now put one weight down. So just, if you're using a towel, just so you know, don't let the towel go slack at all. Just keep it tight the whole time and then tight and tighter, okay? Hard and harder. All right, don't let it go slack. Uh, back to a single weight and that right leg back, left leg forward position. Single arm row. We're gonna add rotation to the torso on this one. So your legs are um, a decent amount apart. Front knee is bent and it's gonna stay bent the whole time. In three, we're gonna row two, hinge back two, and one. So hinge forward, now rotate your torso to the back. So as opposed to just shooting the arm behind you, three, you're gonna move the whole torso. Four, so left leg, so the arm comes to the left leg, moves to the right side, five more. Five, opposite arm, opposite leg. Four, the hips stay forward, the torso turns, three, two, one, I love it by the way, ET recruits people every time she works out. <laughs> Your friends must love you a lot. All right, right leg back, uh, forward, left leg back. Hinge forward, three, left arm goes two, one. Hinge forward and rotate your torso. Hips stay forward, two, three, four, six, Seven, eight, two more, and one. Okay, one single weight or whatever you're using. Halos, go over the head, cross body chop in three, two, either direction, one. Overhead chop, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Adding a second weight or your uh, towels or bands. By the way, you guys, you can travel with a band and a small ball deflated. Just bring your straw to um, inflate it like I did. All right, uh, three, if you don't have them, let me know. Two, one bent over rows, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'll show you what was in the bottom of my suitcase. Not the bottom, really. This, and this is a ball. It has a straw and a plug. They travel amazing, light and functional. So, FYI for future reference. All right, let's get back down to the floor, grab your weights. Uh, all right, you are welcome to put your band on above your knees. I'm gonna stay without it. It may be for obvious reasons for some. We're gonna come to the forearms. This again, I'm doing body weight. So this can totally be body weight. Forearms down on the floor. Left toes tuck under. 
Right leg lifts in the air, hips are squared. In fact, I want you to know that your hips are squared by lifting your left forearm off the floor for a second. If you topple over, you're putting all your weight into your arm to support you up, all right? So left arm down, right arm down, right leg up in the air, bend the knee, flex the foot. So like you bend your knee, yeah, and now flex your foot like you're, yeah, no. Lift the knee up higher, touch the knee down. Here, Sim. So it's here, up and down. Look at me if you're not sure, guys. Up and down, all right? So let's go there, right leg. Three, two, one. Up, down, 10, nine. Now be very careful here that you don't um, arch out your back. Three, pull the belly in. Four, squeeze your glutes. Five, six, we're going to 10, seven, eight, two more. Now hold the leg up, knee height, hip height, and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1. Tap the knee down, sit back on your heels, straighten your arms. Shoulders over elbows, wrists, push firmly through the floor. Same leg, gang, same leg. Right leg back straight, toes down, hips squared. Lift your left hand up so you know that you're balancing evenly. And then bring your right knee to your chest. Three, two, one. Round and curl, one. Extend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, you should feel this in your left glute a little bit too, 10, and bring your knees down, sit on your heels, child's pose. Come on back to your forearms, right arm or right leg is gonna stay, so tuck the right toes underneath you. Left leg in the air, flex the foot, knee is bent 90 degrees. If you wanna check it out, bring your right arm off the floor so that you're balancing. Left foot up, three, two and down, knee down, knee up, one, down and up, two, hips are squared like a table, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, gonna hold that last one up, ten, pulse it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Knee down, arms straight. Left leg behind you. Knee to chest in three, two. Are you there, Sin? One, round and curl. Extend it. Two, oh, there you are, okay. Oh, we're back to that moving camera. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more and 10, good, bring your legs back a little further, bring your arms out a little further, take your arms wider than your um, mat, shoulders over hips, if you're not using your band and you wanna put it on your upper forearms, that's fine, forearms or upper, uh, upper arms, we're just gonna do a couple push-ups, couple meaning 10, all right? Shoulders over uh, wrists in three, two, go. Now, knees are down, but of course, if you want them up, take them up. Three, four, five, strong through the center, six, seven, eight, two more, one more, back to the child's pose. All right, all the way back. Come back to your forearms. I'm just gonna put it as a combination movement with our legs. So we're gonna um, lift the leg up, pulse it twice, and bring it down to the floor. So it's up, pulse, pulse, and down. So it's like three little kicks. Yeah, slow and control. Three, right leg first, two, go. Kick one, pulse it, and then bring it down. Two, pulse it, and down. So it's a lift and two pulses, three. Again, don't put all your weight into your left hip, four, five, Six, seven, the consecutive pulses get a little bit firmer and maybe a little bit higher, eight, 
but not, you know, not too high. Nine, because you want this to stay in your glutes, not your back. Ten, hold it up here. Straighten your arms, extend your leg, knee to chest, go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. I want you to hold your leg up on the last one. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold the weight of the leg back up. One. Good. Walk your hands a little forward. Dip your chin and chest for five. Four. Three. One more. And one. Good. So for those of you who uh, went all the way and did those as chaturanga arms, good for you. They were wider, but you're more than welcome to make them tricep chaturangas. All right, back to your forearms. Left leg lifts with two pulses. In three, two, here we go. Lift, now pulse, pulse, bring it down, one. Pulse, pulse, two. Lift up, three, four, Five, six, seven. So it's like lifting it three times. Eight, <clears throat> nine. We're going to keep the leg up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ten. Keep the leg up. Arms lift and straight. Leg extends. Knee to chest. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to hold the leg up in the air. Two, last one, hold the leg up. Walk the arms out. Five uh, push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit back on your heels. Whew. Good morning. All right. Come on back up to standing. If you have a band, we're going to use the band. If you have a towel, we're going to use the towel. Certainly is hot out here. Whew. All right, grab some water. Starting with the band overhead. So, towel, same thing. With your band, you could put your hands in it. Take the arms up overhead. Either way, pull apart from the center. So you feel this engagement in the lats, the big muscles behind you, right? All right, bend the knees. You can come into a plie or a, a squat or just stay a little bit more upright. Bring the band out and down towards your shoulders and then back up. So bring them down. Let's go, 10. Nine, eight, don't go lower than your collarbone, seven. If you can, then just tighten up your waist a little bit. Six, Michelle, can you bring it in front of your chest instead of behind you? Four, yeah, three, two. Hold this last one down, turn your palms down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your arms down. Keep your hands as they are and bring them back up. Take the left arm up. Right arm's gonna pull down all by itself. You can keep it now kind of behind your head. All right, three, two, one, go. Ten, nine. Now, the resistance is coming from both directions. Three, so as you're pulling, you could do this with a towel. It's not gonna be as far. Four, your left arm holding it is getting resistance. Your right arm pulling down is getting resistance. Three, two, one. Arms up, switch sides. Right arm stays up. Ten, nine. You should feel your lats. Three, those back muscles. Four, try not to feel your traps, so don't lift your shoulder blades up. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Relax. All right. Just put the band down for a second. 
take the arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release thumb and pointer. Good. You could bend your knees, drop your seat, lean just side to side, three, two, go. One, biceps by your ears. Two. Three. Yeah, go as deep as your body allows you. Four, the only thing moving is your waistline. It's teapot. I'm a little. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And come on back up. All right, roll it around. We're gonna go back to that um, band. So I like to hold it like between my thumbs, in between my palms, all right? I'm just turning my palms the other way. Okay, so arms overhead, palms face out. You're gonna pull against the band as well as bringing it down to the front of your chest. Sit down if you'd like to in a squat three, Two, go, good, yeah, use your towels, 10, nine. As you pull down, you're pulling apart. Three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, we're gonna hold it on 10. 10, now squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull the band apart, two, or the towel, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax the arms. You should feel that. Towels, towel people, you're gonna, towel people, uh, you're gonna feel something tomorrow, perhaps. All right, left arm stays up, right arm pulls down. Three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Switch sides, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Woo. All right, band down, band down. Take your hands together, switch the cross of your fingers, make it funky, all right? So instead of your normal way, switch it one finger over, bring the arms up overhead. Bend your knees, sit low, lean side to side in three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> Six, I keep hitting my garage door open. Five, four, three, two, one more. I'm singing to you. Release it, roll your shoulders. Whew. All right, take your band, your towel, hold it. at your right hip. Take your right hand inside or just hold onto the towel with your palm facing back so your shoulder's gonna turn in for a second, all right? So we're gonna take that right arm and extend it back and down as far as you can go, right? Uh, um, each of us is gonna be in a different position. All right, in three, right arm, two, one, go back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and switch sides. Same thing. So your shoulder turns inside, and then you kick it back. Three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Now, Take the arm overhead, band or towel, holding from the bottom. Take your bottom arm, reach for the band. It's a little tricky. 
If you have a short band and you can't do this, then I want you to just hold your, actually, let's do it this way. Let's hold our hand similar to what we did before. Hold on to the band with your left hand behind your head. We're gonna extend the arm up this time, all right? So we're gonna extend, the right arm's gonna hold the band behind your ponytail or your head. All right, again, you could be in a squat or whatever you like. Right arm's gonna go up and down, three, two, one, go. Extend 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Good, just switch sides. Left arm's gonna go up and down in three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the band or towel behind your back. You can put your arms in the band if you'd like, or not at all. Behind your back, bend over a little bit, lift up and out. So up and out, uh-huh, good, good Andrew. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Eek, one, all right, roll it out. Grab some water if you'd like, wipe down. Whew. All right, right arm's gonna hold, well, they're both gonna hold the band or the towel. Right hand's gonna come at your waistline, your hip, shoulder in, so your palm is down. We're gonna pull back with the right arm in three, two, go. 10, nine, so it's down and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. Other side, three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Good, overhead, okay? Left hand's gonna stay stay steady, right arm's gonna come up and down. Three, two, go, 10. Nine, I hit a foot behind me, further three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I was just gonna say you can add a weight, and I see that I think Cindy did, or you're not using a band. So either way, if you have the band and you want to use the weight as well, that's fine. If you only have one or the other, that's fine too. All right, other side, three, two, and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven six, five, four, three, and one. Good, band behind your back or towel or weights. Palms away, bend over, three, two, go. Up and back, one, two, or up and out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, all right, good, come on down to the floor. Um, the other girls, if you have a towel, a hand towel, grab it. We'll give some equal time here. All right, come on down, change your cameras. We're staying down. Take your towel, and again, if you don't have a towel, and you want to use a band, you can use a band. You have slightly different resistance. Underneath your thighs. So underneath your thighs. Good. Sit up, bend your knees, lean back. Good. Arms are extended halfway, maybe less than halfway. So you have a little contraction happening in your bicep right here. Good. Now we're gonna curl the arms and the legs in and down, all right? So both arms and legs, yeah, you guys said. Three, four, two, go. Hold on one second, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, and one. Good. If you only have the bands, uh, the towels, keep it. If you have a set of weights, moderate weight. We're going to do the same thing, but with the legs on the floor. So the other people without um, weights are going to do the same thing you just did. All right, lean back, sit up tall, arms out. Three, bend the arms first. Two, go for ten. Nine, abs and tight. Three, four. Otherwise, you're doing the same thing we just did. Five, six, seven, eight. One more is 10, good. Weights, no weights, body weight, um, Russian twists. Hold your weight up and down today if you're using a weight. If not, you're using you know, your body weight. All right, sit up tall, lean back a little bit. Three, two, go. Touch the floor each time, two, with your hands or your weight. Three, four, legs can be up or down. Five, six, seven, eight, and 10. Good, take a little break. <sighs> so, all right, we're gonna do the bicep curl thing again. So those of you with just a towel are gonna do 20 of these. Otherwise, we're gonna do 10 of these and then bicep curls without the towel, all right? Personally, I think the towel gives you a huge amount of resistance. Um, so I would use the towel as much as you can. All right, sit up tall, lean back. Good, arms and legs are gonna lift and curl and extend. Three, two, go. 10, nine, three, four, five. Don't forget to curl the arms. Six, seven, yeah, it's a bicep curl. Eight, nine, and 10. So it's really a bicep curl. Take your two weights or you're gonna stick with the towel. Sit up tall, then lean back. Arms down, three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. One weight, hold it up and down. Twist in three, two, here we go. One. Two, legs up or down, your choice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, put it down. Whew. All right, let's go back onto our backs. Have everything nearby. start with our um, feet on the floor. Hands behind our head, head and shoulders lifted. Tilt your pelvis, lift your hips up. Keep your hips off the floor. Let's do 10 crunches here. Three, two, let's go. 10, nine, eight, your hips are up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it up on one, release your hands. Reach to your ankles, right side, left side. Hips are still up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hips down, knees in. Hug your knees to your chest, open your arms out. Move your hips right, let your knees fall to the left and stay to the left. Hands back behind your head. Elbows out to the side. Your head is just sitting in your hands. It's not moving. Your neck is not moving. In three, two, lift up your head and shoulders. Ten, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold your head up, head, uh, head and shoulders up. Take your legs to the other side. Ten more crunches. Go. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Done. On your back, bring your knees back to your chest. All right, one more time. Feet down, hands behind your head. Your hands are just supporting the weight of your head, right? There's nothing else moving in your neck area. Hips lift up, you're in a bridge, right? With your back on the floor. So it's just really the blue part. Head and shoulders lift up in three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep your touch strong. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up one, release your hands. Heel taps, ten, nine, eight. Hips are still up, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips down. Bring your knees to your chest. Send your legs to the left side. Hands back behind your head. Lift up in three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up, bring your legs to the other side. 10 more crunches, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. On your back, hug your knees up to your chest. Woo, good job guys. All right, right leg crosses over left. Totally improvised today. Grab your ankles, heels, tailbone down on the floor. We are going to stretch it out. Open your arms out to the side. Move your hips right, knees fall to the left. Nice spinal twist here, should feel good. Uncross your legs. Hug your knees to your chest. Send your left leg over your right leg, grab ankles, shins, and toes. Open your arms to a T. Move your hips left, let your knees fall to the right. Uncross your legs, throw your knees back to your chest. Bring your left leg on the floor, grab your towel, put your foot in the towel and then stretch your leg in the air. So your right leg is straight, or as straight as it'll go. If you'd like to take the left leg out in front of you, flex your right foot, bring it close to your face, but with a straight leg. So if the knee is very bent, then just don't go that far. Holding onto the towel with the right hand, open your right leg out only so far as this left hip does not come off the floor. So hold it open, I'm just going to use my little piece of equipment here that's in my way. Left hip down on the floor. Come back to center, switch arms, cross over the body. Move your hip to the right and your leg to the left. And then bend your knee into your chest. Switch legs. Left leg in the strap or the towel. Straighten the leg in the air, hold it with your left hand. Option to straighten the right leg onto the floor. You just pull the leg a little closer to your face as long as the leg stays fairly straight. Hold the arm with your left arm. Put your right arm on your right hip so you remind it to kind of stay down. Mine's not gonna go very far without my hip lifting so I don't come very far. I only go as far as I can maintain this right hip stable. Then cross the body. Come back to center with a bent knee. Undo the legs, hug your knees to your chest, sit up. Stretch your legs out in front of you, put the towel there, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold yourself over your legs. Inhale, and exhale. You have straight spine, long spine. Yeah. Inhale, lift up, release your strap. 
Exhale, bring your hands and knees to the floor. Cat cow, tuck your toes, arch your back, dip your belly. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, come to neutral. Tuck your toes, hips up in the air, downward dog. Then one knee, then the other. Walk your hands to your feet. Forward fold, let it go. Shake out your neck, yes and no. You know what, grab your towel, take it up with you, come up to standing. Stretch your arms up over your head. Good, bring your arms back a little further. Lean right. Inhale, lean left as you exhale. Inhale, bring your arms behind your back. Take the strap, towel band. Fold forward, bring your arms up over your head. Tuck your chin in, roll up through your spine. Leave your towel where you'd like. Take a big breath in. Bring your hands together. Give yourself a big hand. Stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.